Hey everyone, I'm Samuel Claiborne, and I'm here in IGN's secret pinball bunker. What you are about to witness is our unboxing and overview of Stern's latest Marvel Comics-based pinball machine, Venom. Venom joins a recent run of Stern Marvel games, including Guardians of the Galaxy, Deadpool, and Avengers Infinity Quest. For my money, Venom as a theme is peak 1990s cool. And you know what else was great in the 90s? Pinball. It's a great thematic match, and Venom feels like a throwback in many ways to pinball's golden era, while also innovating in a few ways. Let's take a look at some of Venom's coolest features, shall we? One of the coolest things Venom does might result in some shocking ball drains. The ramps lead to return wire forms that have their own locks with staged balls, meaning they can kick out a ball or store it for multi-ball. It's the kick out that will get you. As soon as your ball hits the top of the ramp, you may expect it to leisurely roll back your way. Nah, one of the up kickers will skip that part and send the ball flying back to your flips. It really messes with your timing in a good way and somehow speeds up an already lightning fast game. Like any good symbiote host, many things transform in Venom Pinball. When you choose your host, Eddie Brock, Gwen Stacy, Peter Parker, or Flash Thompson, the playfield itself adapts, transforming one center shot from a pass through to a vertical turnaround ramp to a ball lock. The ramp just to the right similarly changes, diverting the ball to different areas. The characters themselves have different abilities and you'll want to switch them up between balls. By the way, Miles Morales makes an appearance as a team up character you can unlock just by selecting Peter Parker at the start. Choose Miles ahead of multi-ball to add a team up bonus, in this case, more web combos. As for toys, there's an interactive carnage toy that you can knock back to activate multi-balls and hurry ups. It resets between balls, so it's something to really focus on at the start of each ball. By hitting mid playfield targets and sinking a shot into the scoop, you can bring out Doppelganger, the weird eight-limbed, not Spider-Man thing that appeared in classic Venom storylines like Maximum Carnage. The dangling targets are cool as they don't hinder the ball much and achieve a sort of a bash toy-like effect without slowing down the ball. Pro tip, if you start with Eddie Brock, beat back the Carnage toy until you qualify Carnage multi-ball on the middle ramp, then start the easy two-shot Mayhem multi-ball, then it's just one shot up the center ramp to stack Carnage multi-ball. That's two multi-balls at once for big scores, and you will instantly have the highest score of your friends who have never played this game before. Finally, Venom looks and sounds great. There's a competent voice cast for all the characters, but best of all is a Venom who shouts at you a lot and taunts you when you drain your ball. Choose your host, change the game. The art on the playfield, back glass, sides, and importantly on the HD screen is loud and in your face like Venom. Deep in the game's rule set, there are three unlockable hosts, Venomized Wolverine, Hulk, and Captain America. This requires beating some really tough boss modes and playing deep into the game. And frankly, I haven't made good progress here. Even a short time with Venom feels rewarding with its mini symbiote host options to explore, the transforming playfield that keeps things fresh, and many surprises. And all this on top of its sheer speed and kind of a perfect theme. Now, this machine is equipped with Stern Insider Connected that lets you scan your phone to track your progress between games, including the Venomized characters you've unlocked and of course, achievements and leaderboards. It also tracks the time it takes you to defeat bosses deemed speed runs to further bring pinball into the modern video game fold. I hope Venom is already flipping at an arcade near you as it is already shipped. Go play it. We've also unboxed some other recent Stern pinball machines, including Marvel's Avengers Infinity Quest and James Bond 007. Check those out too, please. And for more on all things that flip, stick with IGN.